Everybody, this just got real. Millions of crypto investors demand more answers. And I got breaking crypto news for you because Elon Musk, Andrew Tate, we got Tucker Carlson, Justin Sun, among other big names. You remember what we discussed yesterday? Telegram founder, CEO, the man, the one and only, Pavel Durov, arrested in France. Posted a video. You guys liked it. I saw the comments. I saw the likes. We'll continue. Just let me know in the comments down below if you want us to do that. But this is all about freedom of speech. I spent quality time understanding the situation. Remember that we talked about the, the, the token, ton, collapsing, going down about 20%. It's coming back up little by little because, and it's true, and Justin Sun is saying it, and a lot of people in crypto, this is a great opportunity for us, the crypto community, to unite because... It's about his life. It's about his freedom. It's about keeping freedom intact. And that's what's at stake here. Guys, don't go anywhere. Go ahead and smash your like button. And consider subscribing to the channel, everybody. Take a look at that. And happy to have you back. Now, this is part two or the second update to what we talked about yesterday. And 24 hours later, what we're seeing is that the price of tone has recovered, which is really nice. Closely about six bucks, which is really good for a lot of people who are investing on this one and bought the dip. Congrats, you're making money. Well done. Now, we're seeing right here that Tony is no longer the loser. It's no longer the one that is crashing the most, which is really good. But these are the news, guys. Behold. Let's start with this one. Breaking. Rush is working to free Telegram founder Pavel Durov from France. Why? I got you. Second. Free Pavel. Tucker Carlson had a chat earlier in the year in April with him. And that tells you how Tucker, I'm sure that you guys know him, right? Uh, he has interviewed Vladimir Putin and many other different people. He's basically saying, hey, come on, your life could be in danger and stay safe because you're trying to do something that a lot of people would not appreciate, you know, when it comes to letting freedom of speech reign in. And eventually for us as crypto investors, right, there's a token involved that's done. But if they do it to him, then are we just going to, you know, do nothing and cross our arms? And let take a look at who is behind this repost, Elon Musk, with it with the um, hashtag Free Pavel. Now, Free Pavel comes from this one, guys. And this is really big because it just happened hours ago. We should show cryptocurrency industry unity. By organizing a free Pavel DAO to help Telegram founder Pavel Durov legally gain freedom, I'll donate a million dollars if it cre if it's created in a decentralized way with enough community support. Tagging Elon, tagging Mario. So you know, guys, this will become Wall Street best. This will become really worth it, guys. And I, I mean, in my opinion. Like I'm telling you guys, it's about freedom of speech. And a lot of people are saying, guys, do you actually support this, right? Well, uh, seemingly listen in. becoming more pro-freedom of speech. Here's basically saying like X is becoming more freedom of speech, which is good. Thankfully, Elon Musk bought Twitter because if not, forget about it. Him, Trump, and many other people, right? completely banned forever for life. But thanks, thanks to Elon Musk, we have a little bit more freedom, especially in crypto and for him. Now, let me go back to this one. Elon Musk, Cobra Tate, everyone in support of Drop. I love how people are supporting the real voice of speech. We need to raise our voice loud, retweet and comment. Why? Well, because this. It seems, guys, from the reports that I'm looking at, that the Russian military was using Telegram to have communications. That's one of the reasons they're working tirelessly to release him from France because there's a lot of people that are, in a way, could be compromised because of this arrest, right? Here it is. Russian officials have received an order to delete official correspondence in Telegram. According to Basa sources, such order was received by employees, law enforcement agencies. So, the arrest was greatly alarmed by Russia's seized channels. The Telegram Messenger is actively used by Russian army for communication on the battlefield. Oh my lord. Guys, if this video gets taken down by YouTube, you know we have a problem.
you know we have a problem with freedom of speech because you two is not a friend. It's not a friend. FYI. So guys, France ignores Russia demand for access to Pavel Durov. That's crazy, man, right? So that's all the people that are trying to get Pavel out from Russian hands, from France hands, apologies. So it's just crazy, man. And of course, there's a lot of people right now that are talking about it, using the hashtag and telling, hey, come on, this is really, really bad for freedom of speech. Now, there's a lot of things to talk about as far as what the token will do. Are you supposed to get in? Are we supposed to short it or long it? If that's you, if you want to get into this game, don't forget to take a look at the links down below to my MarJX link, guys, up to 100 X positions when it comes to longs and shorts. And there's a $10,000 welcome bonus that you guys will be uh, available to get if you so follow all the steps. So check it out, fam. And if you want to support the channel, you know, more updates like this one, because we want to keep people informed. This affects crypto, guys, as a call. Let's just stop for a second and say, this affects crypto as far as if the founders will be able to have freedom as far as how they can reach and they can go. Because information is what we what keeps us united, what keeps us, you know, from lies, especially from governments that they don't want us to really know the truth. It's just what it is. Now, hashtag Durov, and we're seeing Moscow French embassy people carry airplane symbol of telegram to demand release. A lot of people who want him out. In 2014, Pavel Durov fled Russia selling his multi-billion social media company after refusing to censor content and share user private information with the Russian government. In 2024, France and EU and NATO members arrested Durov for refusing to censor content on Telegram. What has happened to the West? Tucker Carlson, so the government asked it to shut down communication between the opponents. It was a tool for these protectors to organize themselves. When the Russian government asked Pavel Durov to use his social media company to censor opponents, now you have to compare what Pavel Durov did to what Mark Zuckerberg or Barack Igrawal did, the guy who ran Twitter before Elon Musk bought it. Correct. So I'm telling you guys, this we're seeing right now as crypto investors, what really is shocking the markets and its freedom of speech, the battle for it, and are we supposed to defend it? I stand yes, 100%. And it seems that this is Pavel Durov arrested right now in France. And well, there you have it. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. You've been updated. If you want more the updates and follow-ups on this situation, let me know in the comments down below. Smash in the like so I will know you guys one more of this. See you next time, guys. Peace.